Jamie. Hi, I'm Gemma. From Play to Learn Preschool. And we are so excited to share one of our favorite dramatic play areas with you today. Yes. Is this the part where you want to do some silly... I'm tired monkey, today. We're too tired for monkey business, so we're just going to show you the airport. So as we've talked about in other videos, we like to change our home living dramatic play area for about two weeks each month. Um, the other two weeks, it's just a normal kitchen where they play house and take care of the babies and cook and all of those other things. But two weeks each month, we try to set it up as something really special. Um, it's actually my favorite part of the classroom. Yeah, I love this part too. And the kids really enjoy it as well. Um, sometimes the dramatic play goes with our theme. Like right now, we're studying transportation and it's set up as an airport. And sometimes it doesn't, and that's okay, okay with me. So for example, in October, we were learning about spiders in fall, and it was a sandwich shop. Yeah, because uh, what do you do for a dramatic play spider? You could have unit? done like a pumpkin patch or something, but we really wanted to do the sandwich shop, so. I'll have big spiders in Brighton. No, that wouldn't be so good, would it? It's like a haunted house. Jamie rescued a spider <laughs> the other day. I was so tiny, was you couldn't tiny. even see it. Um, I was really proud of her because she rescued a spider. It was really little. She squish it, she rescued it. It was on a paper, wow. so I didn't have to touch it. Very proud of you. And I just bl blew it outside mm -hmm. and it just flew off. It was so <laughs> tiny. Anyway, um, so sometimes, like I said, our dramatic play area goes with the theme and sometimes it doesn't. In December, it will, it will go with a the theme. We're doing um, the gingerbread man during the three weeks of December that we have our kiddos. We have a cookie store. And we're gonna do a, yeah, a cookie bakery. Um, but sometimes it doesn't and that's okay. We kind of go with what the students are interested in or what they need or the October sandwich shop was really good because it was pretty easy. It was a nice little introduction. The one we're gonna show you right now is not that easy. It's pretty complex, so. Some of you may have seen us put this together on our- Oh, I forgot we did that. Yeah, we did the super fast forward <laughs> I wish we could get everything really set up in a minute and yeah. a half, but it, it took, <laughs> it took us, us an hour. <laughs> it did take us longer than that. All right, so we're gonna give you a tour. Um, this, sometimes our dramatic play areas are pretty small. Like if you saw the birthday party, it was just, you know, just at the table, a small area. Mm -hmm. This one actually takes up our art easel, our- It's huge. It's huge. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and flip the light on because I didn't do that. <laughs> we forgot to turn the light on. We're, we're tired, really tired today. And I need to unclip my microphone before I stand up. Gemma's going to um, turn around and um, I'm going to flip the camera and Gemma's going to kind of show you around. Yeah, and if I don't unclip this, that would be even, that would be really We're messy. We definitely need a cameraman. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the airport. All right. Okay, thank you. So, um, <laughs> how about some light? How does that sound? <laughs> we need a cameraman. We do need a cameraman. Anybody like to come out to Virginia with us? I keep shooting it at the ceiling. Sorry. <laughs> Anybody like to come out um, to Virginia? We'll could use your services as a cameraman. Okay, so the I guess it would be better if I kind of did it this way. Okay, so the airport actually takes up like half of our room at this point. It starts here at the travel agent desk. And so Gemma is gonna pretend like she's a four-year-old. And we have it set up here so they can put the little headphones on and take, oh, <laughs> take phone calls time. for people who are um, wanting to make a, re a ticket reservation. And then the students can look on the map and try to figure out where they'd like to go, which is kind of fun because they pick all kinds of places. We picked up these yeah, travel brochures from a, tr a travel agent. They were kind enough to give us. They're hard to find these days because everything is booked online. So I was really lucky and I found uh, travel agents that were able to give me some of these. So if you know somewhere that can get them for you, get them while you can because I don't know how much longer they're going to be able That's to true. be available. Um, and then they can write these little tickets Oh, here. So we... Um, have these great big tickets and then the students can just write their name some, some of the, the students down. have written um, the name and what seat number they're gonna sit in that's really funny um, and so even if they're just scribbling that's a really good um, it's just a good writing activity a good emergent writing activity so after they get their ticket and look at our guinea pig she is making so much noise I think she notices when we're on Facebook or when we're talking a lot and she gets out and makes a big us. So then over here at um, in this area we've got some suitcases or some luggage for them 
And so they can choose their luggage. And we don't have, I don't have any of that anymore. My kids are a little bit too old. So we just ask our students if anybody had a small suitcase and they brought them in for us to use for these two weeks. Now, I have to tell you a story about this one. I went to uh, just put the suitcases in the right place so we could show you where they go. It's like, this is really heavy. <laughs> so I opened it up, and I'm sure this never happens to anybody else. Look and what's inside the suitcase. <laughs> Shoes, <laughs> corn, carrots, and a piece of pie. <laughs> oh, and this puff for the oh, security. Oh, <laughs> So they were packing, which yeah. a lot of times will zip tie or put twist ties on the zipper. But that one you can't close because it's only got one zipper around the side. No, it, no, it, it does. We oh, it does have two? It, we oh, forgot. we forgot. Anyway. So now we've got to put it through the x-ray scanner here to make sure there's nothing dangerous inside. And when we, um, <laughs> so we've printed this. I want to tell you two funny stories about this. See if your pie is safe. Um, <laughs> The one is that the students were putting it through and the little guy, he's like, stop, stop, this can't go on the airplane. It's too dangerous. And I said, what's inside of it? And he goes with it like total serious face, poisonous snakes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, yeah, that was Jack. I was like, ah. <laughs> anyway, and then I printed off of Google Images um, some pictures of insides of like suitcases so that they could just kind of see like what it looks like on an x-ray. So they just push it through and then pull it out on the other side. Um, it's remarkably hard to find a Google image, an extra image of something that doesn't have something contraband in it. So search carefully. All right, and then they come over here to the ticket area. Wait a minute, you've got to turn oh, your I ticket in. Oh, I forgot oh, to Ah, Miss Gemma. It's like your first flight or something no, like that, right? <laughs> All right. Where are you headed? Nobody knows. It's like a mystery Disney, flight. They always they, it's always Disney. And so then they turn their ticket here in at the ticket counter. And there's, normally someone sitting. there's usually somebody. We've, the way that we always do our dramatic play, I'll see if I can get down here so you can see this, is we always make these uh, role play name tags for them so that they don't fight about who they're going to be. Somebody will be the flight attendant. Somebody's the ticket agent. And it's also good for students who have a hard time engaging in play, like they don't know exactly what they want to do. So if they choose a role play name tag, then that kind of gives them an idea like, oh, I'm going to be the passenger, so I need a suitcase. Or I'm going to be the pilot, so I need to put on my um, pilot hat. So then the, the well, security, it is seven. hard to be five people at the same okay, time. So, I pretend I'm staying here. I'm now the security guard. Oh, sorry. I'm a terrible camera person. Are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. So the first one comes through security, we have a block that I duct tape. It's really simple, really easy. It's just one of our regular yeah, unit regular blocks. We threw some duct tape on it. Blocks. So they come through and they can pretend. <laughs> what are they laughing at me? No, no, no. Okay. They said they love them. No, it's fine. Okay, good. So They're just a regular block that yep. they can use yep. that. And then they collect the tickets. Yeah. And then over here in the airport, they can find their seat. If there's a seat number on their ticket, I it's. Oh, I think you I'm could just pick anything. one. <laughs> and so we've actually labeled the seats. So a little bit of number recognition and identification. So um, even if it's not on their ticket, you know, they'll say, oh, I'm sitting in seat number two or I'm sitting in seat number five or whatever. And then they put their suitcase underneath and nobody is flying this plane. It is hard to do it without people. <laughs> Many today. Okay, so All right. Can you fit I into that pilot no, uniform? I, don't think I can. I'm going to try. Okay. I can fit so we've got these um, two Melissa and Doug pilot uniforms that come with a really cute little hat, and it's a jacket and a tie. And so we have two spots here for the pilots. It's so sweet. It is really cute. And then this is like my favorite thing ever. So this pilot control panel. Um, my dad actually made it. I saw something on Pinterest and it didn't have a good blog post, so I printed out the picture for him. And then he went to the Goodwill. Hi, Dad. And he, he's, no, he's not on Facebook. And he made this little control panel. So it has like switches for them to turn, uh, a steering wheel. It's got some like buttons. I don't know what that is down there. It looks and, like it's from an old telephone. Yeah, it's got an old phone so they can pick it up. And then he showed them the hair dryer. So, oh, yeah. Okay, so oh, let's see. So over here we go. So it's like this. Please take your seats, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's just a hair dryer that I think he cut. I don't no, even know how he did, did it. 
Who knows? Put a little piece of gum. Something, and so then they can talk into it. It kind of makes a neat little echo, actually. So, um, so then they're flying the plane. There's a clock that actually works. The time isn't set, but it works. So works. That's right. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. So they're flying the plane and then over here we have just our control tower area. So this is another Melissa and Doug uniform or costume, I guess. This does fit me. It does fit. <laughs> it's hard to get it off. <laughs> like, it doesn't fit me. So. And these were some old headphones we had. We just cut the wires off. So yeah, it's just an old pair of headphones. Um, and then it was actually Melissa and Doug's their construction worker. I think it's a construction worker set. They don't have an airplane control tower. <laughs> and then we made these sticks out of a wrapping paper tube. And we just and covered them with duct tape. Everything's Everything is made out of duct tape. If you have a roll of duct tape, you, you can make, make an x-ray scanner, a security drinks thing, machine. <laughs> a drinks machine. <laughs> and so then the control person on the ground crew will just help the pilot get out. So that is our airport, um, that is our airport dramatic play area. So I'm gonna flip it back around here. Oh boy. Does that work? All right, hi. And then do you wanna grab Betsy's book? Okay, so we're gonna show you two other things that we did to sort of... Now we gotta get this again with the tripod and the... Okay, I think we're good. Look. We were laughing earlier. She was like on my lap. It was like Santa. Um, so yesterday we shared our circle time activities with you and um, showed you that we show that little LeVar Burton are you in? Yeah, I have it's my microphone. Oh. That little LeVar Burton video about how to, you know, that little boy who goes on their first flight. But then we also did something special this year um, with our students. So do you know we went to Los Angeles and we took... We took Betsy with us. She was in I my was purse. I was crazy but... lady in the <laughs> airport. <laughs> Let's take a picture with this person. Anyway, we ended up taking a ton of pictures. I don't know if it'll show, but we put them in a little book called Betsy's First Flight, and we read this to the students on the first day. It's absolutely hysterical. Hey, Jenny. We got a picture of Betsy with her coffee because it was early in the morning. And then we have people like the ticket agent taking pictures with Betsy. No, I will go up to anybody and speak to I'm them. I'm like, no, stop. And <laughs> I'm not very good like this, but I will go up to anyone individually and ask them a question. I have no problem with that. So I asked. The only person on the whole trip that we did not get a picture with was the TSA agent. I was I'm too scared. They were yelling at us. I was too scared to ask them, and I wouldn't. I'm not normally afraid to ask that. If Gemma won't ask, you know it was a little chaotic at yeah. the TSA. Um, we've got a picture of Betsy there um, at the airport security. And then uh, we fibbed a little bit and said she walked through the metal detector. We didn't have the nerve we to take her. We didn't have the nerve to take her, but and the kids, she's not in this picture. It's just a picture of the metal detector. Yeah, it was, we, and the kids are all like, we thought that I was don't a very see her. Good idea. I'm like, oh, she was she blended in because she's you know she's got black feathers. And then we wrote that she had to put her bag of bird seed through the X-ray detector. And the kids are all like, mm. yeah, and like here she is checking her flight. Yes, that that is me. That's totally Gemma holding Betsy in front of the flight. In front of the, the flight board. Um, but we just have all these pictures of her at the gate and then getting ready to get in line. Um, we had the lady at the desk holder. Can you see that? I can't even tell if you can see. Um, and then she is with the ticket. And we had Betsy hand the ticket to the lady at the gate. <laughs> me. So, that was me. Gemma did. I'm just taking I'm, pictures. I'm probably one of those no fly right. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We had the flight attendant. There's a picture of Betsy looking out the window. We had the flight attendants hold her on the drink cart. <laughs> oh, there she is looking at the map to see if we're in California yet. And then this one. I was like, can we take a picture with the pilot? Click on the please? cockpit until the plane lands. And our friends with the flight attendants, those two nice ones yeah. that we showed you, they would go up into the cockpit. I said, you're going to tell them why we're going to take a picture with a puppet and <laughs> a pilot. The there pilot. we are with our puppet in the cockpit of the airplane. <laughs> he turned all the lights on for us. He's like, is that a good I should have taken a video. It, well, we should do another you trip. Were, she so I can so, take a picture. She was trying so to get out so quickly. I, and I'm like, oh, this is great. The lights are on. Where should I put Betsy? And, <laughs> and I'm like, the pilot's we like, we have a puppet. In an airplane, let's go. We would have kids with us, which makes, if we had a child with us, it would have made more oh, sense. Gosh. And then we had Gemma use Betsy to get her luggage off of the luggage carousel. <laughs> no. Yeah, but God, why is the Nobody looked at us. 
Oh, it got wrinkled in the laminator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, nobody looked at us twice, though, because this is in Los Angeles, and I think we totally blended in. <laughs> hey, Southern California people! Yeah, we like you. We you're... do, but nobody even blinked at us when yeah. we were doing this in Los Angeles airport. And then at the end, we've got a picture of Betsy and Gemma and me visiting Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Jackie. <laughs> so we showed them this book as an introduction to the airplane, and their faces were like this. <laughs> the whole time I'm reading the book really slowly, and the kids are like, huh? and I'm like, and then we took Betsy in the tunnel to get on the airplane, and they're like, hmm. because <laughs> their question is always, is Betsy real? <laughs> We always say, she's a real puppet. She's a real puppet. But then when you take her someplace, like the airport, with all these pictures of her doing all these things, and then their minds were completely like, <laughs> it was, was awesome. It was so much fun because the kids were like, yeah, you know, but then it was good because like when they were putting their, you know, suitcases through and if they didn't quite know what to do, they were like, remember when Betsy had to put her bird mm -hmm. seed through the... Yeah, we remember when Betsy had to put her bird seat through the x-ray machine. It's just something that they can relate to because they know Betsy. So if Betsy's doing something like that, then one, it's safe. It's okay because Betsy's still in her mailbox now. Yep. So she survived the trip. She did lose a few feathers though. <laughs> you can't take her on many more trips. She's no. going to be bald. <laughs> had to get her a little bird to pay. on a train trip <laughs> next time. That might be fun. It was just a really neat way for the students to connect to the Dramatic Play Center and to the idea of it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy. The pictures aren't fantastic, and I actually didn't even really edit them before I put them in the book because I don't know, didn't have the time. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy to leave a link for this if you think any of these pictures could help you if you're setting up your airport dramatic play. I'm happy to leave a little link. You probably don't need a picture of us at the end. No, I won't put that one on. <laughs> anyway, that's our airport dramatic play center. We love dramatic play. We think it's a really awesome way for the students to practice their literacy. They're reading their names. They're writing the tickets. Cooperating. They're cooperating, they're practicing their social skills, their language skills. They're having fun. They're having fun, they're moving around. You know, it's not the kind of, this isn't the kind of school, this preschool here, Play to Learn, where you have to sit at a desk, you know, for 30 minutes and practice your letters on a worksheet or something. It really is like play to learn. We're gonna play and we're gonna learn. They're reading, they're writing, they're counting mm -hmm. the seats, they're, um, you know, working on measurement with their, you know, how heavy their, their bags are. Following directions. Following when the person is standing at the front saying, go this way, go turn this left, way. Turn right. And they're doing it. They're with the wheel. Yeah. yeah. And really that cooperative piece and being able to negotiate with each other and um, take turns and we just love dramatic work play. together. It's the best way for them to learn. So you all can come play airport. Hey, we're in Virginia. Come on. <laughs> yeah, how are you with a camera? That's true. If you're a good cameraman, you're you definitely welcome. <laughs> So that's what we have for you today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to share our week 10 centers with you. Not the dramatic play, but the other ones that we have set up. The other transportation centers kind of around the room. And we're still undecided about Friday. You've given us a lot of good ideas. I'm trying mm. to think it. We'll figure it out. Miss Friday. Oh, we'll do something fun. Now last Friday, we didn't go live because we realized both of our husbands were off of work for Veterans Day. And so after school, we both went to lunch with our husbands. So. <laughs> I thought you were going to say with each other then. Like, no, we didn't. the husband. You, you went out you went to lunch with your husband. I thought you were going to say. Oh, no. Oh, we, we went out to lunch. I totally had a lunch <laughs> date with my husband last Friday. So I'm not sure about this Friday. We'll figure it out. Um, I got Betsy at a yard sale. She was 50 cents. Shh, don't tell her that. I got her before I had kids. Um, before I was really, uh, before I was a preschool teacher and before I was a mom. Mm -hmm. And I just saw her at a yard sale. She was 50 cents and I had to buy her. She'd always been yeah. in my closet. I just always knew I would do something with her. One day That's we'll it. find a picture of her. Oh at yeah, the from a long time ago. At the early, in the early days. She used to have a lot really, of feathers. She was really yeah. fluffy yep. with her feathers. She's lost a few over the years. Yeah, a lot. We're <laughs> all anyway. our age. So the last thing I just wanted to tell you is um, on Monday I put up the um, extra thumb drives. You know, we drew Jeannie Williams won a thumb drive. And then I told you I had a few extras. And I listed them um, in my preschool, play to learn preschool TPT, TPT. store. Um, so it has every resource from my TPT store on here. It's over a hundred resources, two gigs worth of data and um, printables and the airport is on there. And of course, all of our transportation units and all the other units. In addition, if um, you get this thumb drive, it has a link to my Google Drive where I'll put everything else that we ever make in the future um, in terms of printables here. So I only had a few of these 
and guess what you all pretty much bought them so I only have a couple left so if you were thinking about getting a thumb drive or a USB drive um, I can only sell them until we're out so as long as supplies last I put in another order for a few more thumb drives um, but it's not here yet so if you were thinking about getting one I only have a few left um, and then I'll have to deactivate this listing until I get some more thumb drives in. so I think that's it we hope you have fun I talk too much then I don't let you talk enough I'm fine I'm tired Okay. All that fun at the airport just wore me like out. Like a busy trip. I know traveling does make you exhausted. <laughs> With a bird, it's really hard work. Yeah. <laughs> it's so disruptive on the airport. Betsy? Yes. Asking for drinks, drinks. Going to the cockpit. That was awesome. The kids were like, did they have bird seed for her in the airplane? <laughs> and we were like, yes. Yeah. And then and she you brought could, her own, remember? And, and then you could just see their little wheels turning like, the last time I was on a plane, I don't remember seeing bird seed on the <laughs> snack cart. <laughs> So that's it. We hope you have a wonderful day playing and learning with your students. We'll see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye, everybody.